do the Eldar have the best old hammer artillery weapons? Now, hot on the heels of the Eldar D cannon, D for distortion, not what you might think it is, the Eldar were reinforced again with some more field artillery, the RT-404 Eldar artillery weapons. There were three different artillery weapons available in the RT-404 release, and of those three weapons, you could get two different leg lengths. I myself have only one leg length. But these artillery weapons you can get one platform with long legs and one with short legs. Although whoever would want the short legs one, I don't know. It doesn't look that great. Now what I liked about the operators of these weapons is that they wore a lovely chainmail onesie with a marvellous long leather jacket. They looked very cool and very punk and very 1980s. One of the artillery weapon operators appears to be on his mobile phone. You will be able to see for yourself in a moment. So let's jump in and have a look at the Eldar RT-404 field artillery weapons. Warhammer 40,000 Rogue Trader. Like it! Eldar Artillery. In July 1988, the RT-404 Eldar field artillery were released. There were four different weapons, four different crewmen, and two different weapon stands. A long-legged variant and a short-legged variant. The Eldar Field Artillery would set you back the princely sum of £2.50 for two crewmen with two weapons. A bargain, eh? These would be supplied in a blister pack. The RT-404 Eldar Field Artillery were sculpted by Eldar Sculpting Maestro, Jez Goodwin, and he's still doing it today. Good work, Jez. New Eldar Rapid Deployment Weapons Teams, featuring the Scatter Laser, Laz Cannon, and Heavy Plasma Gun, together with individual crew figures supplied in random packs of two weapons, each with its own crew figure and mobile suspenser platform. So let's take a look at the miniatures. And first up it's this heavy plasma gun, and you will notice that it's called a plasma gun. Now I'm not sure when the Eldar changed the names of their weapons, I think it's around 2nd or 3rd edition. I do love the retro flame effect on that barrel. I used to try that back in the day. I was never neat enough. I tried it on a Space Marine Devastator missile launcher. It was terrible. I think this one might even be Mike McVeigh's painting. An Eldar operator up next, and he's wearing a lovely neutral brown ensemble. He is only wearing chainmail on his thighs though and I think we now refer to it as mesh armour. It's good to see even the shuriken catapult was the Eldar weapon of choice back then. It's a great weapon and it stood the test of time. A very minty Laz Cannon up next. That is some strange paintwork. Do you think it could be camouflage for a certain war zone? Do the Eldar even use camouflage? I actually have no idea. This one's got the short-legged base, and it doesn't look as sturdy as the long ones. The gold waystones do look nice. I don't think I've seen them in gold before. Also, I think the Eldar Laz Cannon became the Lance or Bright Lance. If you know, then let us know in the comments below. An Eldar operator ordering a Domino's up next. Either that or he's listening to the sea. Did anyone ever believe that? Do parents still tell their kids you can hear the sea in shells? I actually fell for it as a child when my granny had a huge conch shell. I'd forgotten all about that up until now. Happy memories. On a side note, it was my granny's 90th birthday this week. 
Happy birthday, Granny. Anyway, back to this Eldar. His magenta dressing gown is lovely. Some people I've heard call dressing gowns house coats. Yeah, these people are very wrong. Now, when painting my miniatures, I often have a cup of coffee, and today my coffee is in this black and white striped mug with a little coffee stain here on the side, but I'm not here to show you that coffee stain. Around the inside of the rim, the light may be a bit too bright there, but the coffee stain looks like it says, if you're enjoying this video, then please like it and subscribe to the channel. That means you, Caleb. If you are enjoying the content here on the channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below or up here somewhere. Another Eldar operator up next, and this guy is looking serious. The gold lightning effect on his hat or helmet is very well painted indeed. If I paint Eldar, I might have to steal that. The leather jacket kind of gives him a biker vibe. It's very 1980s. The way he's carrying his box makes it look like his motorbike ran out of petrol somewhere and he's had to walk to take a fuel can to the garage. Gutted. A World War II era Eldar Laz Cannon up next, or that is what it looks like. The camouflage on this reminds me of the Mark I Spitfire camouflage used in the Second World War. It's not something I would ever associate with Eldar schemes. I can't say I've ever seen this used since on any Eldar. This one also looks unstable with the short-legged stand. I hope there's no recoil. Cue the experts in the comments. It's a laser weapon. It has no recoil. I know what you guys are like. A punk looking Eldar operator up next. Check out that haircut. He looks like one of the generic enemies from the Streets of Rage Mega Drive game. That was known as the Genesis in the US. My word, that was a good game. Why hasn't it had any contemporary sequels? The music was bloody amazing, and I'm going to listen to some after this. This guy has those very Eldar rangefinders on his backpack. Do you think they were inspired by the over-the-shoulder cameras from Aliens? That's what it reminds me of. I'm not sure what's going on with his left hand. Is he touching his cheek with his little finger, Dr. Evil style? I need better eyesight. Or I could just buy the miniature, that might help. An assault cannon up next? No, it's the scatter laser. This one has the long legs, nice and stable. I approve. The red barrel reminds me of the assault cannon from the second edition Space Marine Metal Dreadnought. I had one of those once, but it conveniently disappeared after a friend of mine visited one day. I still reckon he stole it, the swine. I want that back. This one has that really nice black with gold lightning effect going on like the other operator. I think these might have even been paired up. Someone wasn't paying attention at the photo shoot, or they felt they had to mix it up a little bit. What do you reckon? So that was the R. So that was the Eldar RT404 field artillery weapons release. What did you think of those? I myself really liked them. I always like the old hammer style Eldar weapons, especially when their operators have chainmail onesies on. I wonder if you can get a chainmail onesie in Primark. Hmm? Now, which one of those artillery weapons? was your favourite, Hey, eh? Myself, I would probably say either the uh, scatter laser, not sure what this is, maybe it's some sort of water sprinkler. <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, let me know. Or if you're more, no, or maybe the Laz Cannon, but they definitely had to have the long legs on the platform. They looked considerably better than the short ones. Did you own an RT-404 Eldar weapons platform. I myself do not. One day, that might change. Who was the weapons operator on the phone too? 
Oh, 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 win my way, oh, win my way, oh, win my way. Not sure where that came from. I reckon the weapons operator was on the phone to the quartermaster of the Eldar asking for longer legs on his weapons platform. If you want to see some more old Hammer content, I know you do, check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels. Hmm?